a mother comes running to a rabbi. Please help save my son. He started wearing a kippah. He eats only kosher food and refuses to work on Shabbos. The rabbi says, I am happy to help people, but please understand, I also wear a kippah. I also eat only kosher food and I also don't work on Shabbos. The mother says, I understand, but you get paid for it. And he really believes in it. We celebrate Hanukkah for eight days because a jug of oil that was supposed to last for one day lasted for eight. But the question begs, a miracle really was happening only during the last seven days. If the menorah was burning for the first day, it was not a miracle. The jug was supposed to last for one day. Why do we then celebrate the first day of Hanukkah? Some sages say that the reason we are celebrating the first day is not because of the oil that was burning, but because of the very fact that the Jews were looking for pure oil. The entire temple was defiled by the Greeks. Do you think there was a realistic chance to find a jug of oil? To look for something, you have to believe that it exists. And the Jews were sure that God is going to help them and that they will find the oil they need for the menorah. The miracle of the first day was the miracle of the Jewish faith. In ancient Greece, they had many gods who were fighting with each other, having affairs with each other. We wonder, how could somebody really believe in these gods? And the truth is, they really didn't. As we see from the works of Aristotle and many other Greek philosophers, they were paying only a nominal lip service to this religion and did not really take it seriously. This is why the Greeks were surprised when they encountered the Jews. They were expecting the Jews to take Judaism as seriously as the, they were taking their myths. But Jews, to their surprise, actually believed in their religion. When we look at ourselves, we see that we are raised in a society where people have some sort of belief, but unfortunately, just like in ancient Greece, it is nothing more than something symbolic. In the USSR, people had ideologies that they said that they adhere to, but really they were only paying a lip service to them. In the West, we live in a society where a largely cynical approach to religion dominates everything. After seeing so many ideologies fail, do we still find the strength to look for a faith we can trust? We live among people who are apathetic towards their religion. Do we have the courage to assert our adherence to our faith? We see people shamed for having any beliefs. Do we have the strength to follow ours? On Hanukkah, we celebrate that even though the Jews were surrounded by Hellenists who considered themselves too sophisticated to believe in their religion and look down at anyone who took their faith seriously, the Jews, in the face of that, stood strong and professed their faith. On Hanukkah, we celebrate that even though we today constantly see apathy and cynicism towards so many ideologies and faiths, we still have the spiritual strength to believe.